Have you ever felt like there's an invisible speed limit to your double bass drumming? I did too, until a casual moment with my coffee showed me a new way to play double bass. So today I'm sharing two sneaky exercises that don't just up your drumming speed, but can be done in absolute silence. Think I'm joking? Stick around and I'll show you how my kitchen floor unlocked the key to faster double bass drumming. So here's the story. A while back, it was my main goal to increase my double bass speed up to at least 200 beats per minute. Back then, I was stuck at 130 for quite some time and had to rely on the heel toe technique for fast tempos. But no matter how hard I tried, my feet just wouldn't move that fast. One day, after a long, exhausting practice session while waiting for my coffee to be ready, I had a light bulb moment. I started tapping my feet in a new way and it changed everything for me. I realized there are simple ways to play better without working harder. And today I want to share two of my favorite tricks with you. First up, we have the motion development exercise. Now, don't worry, it's a fancy name, but it's super easy to do. The secret, use just your calves. Forget about your whole leg for a minute. Just lift and drop using the back of your lower leg. Keep it relaxed, it's like bouncing a basketball. Easy, rhythmic and fun. The advantages of this exercise are, first, you're getting used to just using your calves by relaxing the muscle groups in your upper leg. This is important because your calves are the key element to play double bass at higher tempos. And the second big benefit if you play double bass this way, then you will never have balance issues again. Both feet are in touch with the footboard all the time, so you don't have to worry about leaning forward or back while playing double bass. If you first start practicing this way, make sure to start at a slow tempo, around 80 beats per minute, to get a feel for this technique. Do this exercise for at least 5 minutes straight and always remember to just use your calves to lift your heels off the floor. All right, have you got that? This exercise alone is a game changer. But wait, I've got another cool thing to show you. And the best part, you can do this one without making sound. So if you live with others, this is your secret weapon. Introducing the bounce workout. Imagine being able to practice anytime, even late at night without disturbing anyone. This is how. Again, it's all in the calves. Lift and drop lift and drop see no noise it's so silent you could practice next to a sleeping cat it wouldn't even notice the key element here is again to relax the muscle groups in your upper leg you just want to use your calves to bounce the beta back and forth the weight of your leg has to be on the pedals at all times with this exercise you don't want to start at a super slow tempo but you also don't need a metronome right now just place your feet on your pedals and start bouncing the beaters back and forth. When you first start doing this exercise, I recommend practicing for at least 10 minutes straight with each foot separately. When I discovered these exercises, it was like finding hidden treasure. And I promise, if you stick with them, practice regularly and stay patient, you will see huge improvements. It's not magic, but it sure feels like it. Now I've got one question for you. Why do you want to increase the double bass speed? For me personally, it was that I wanted to be able to play along to my favorite songs that rely heavily on double bass drumming. I also wanted to shine during band rehearsals and live on stage. But I also still remember those days when I'd get frustrated, when I felt like maybe double bass drumming wasn't for me. So now you might be thinking, will these two exercises really help me? I've seen it firsthand. I know drummers, some of them probably watching right now, who went from slow to super fast in just a few weeks, all thanks to simple tricks like these. I also see videos of drum teachers popping up who are shocked that I talk about getting results with my students within a couple of weeks, while it takes them years to finally get their students up to 200 BPM with their feet. That's also why we send out student success videos every single week. That's living proof that others can't deny. The system works. So if you want to learn more about how we do it, just go to drumcoaching.net or click the link below. 
I'm looking forward to coach some of you personally. I wish you a great day, my friend. Cheers from Vienna. Bye-bye.